What is going on guys? It is gonna be an absolutely awesome video. I'm headed to the airport right now to go to that custom sump that I basically almost finished last time. Going to fix it up, gonna go throw in the apex on there. Um, headed to the airport right now. There is a hurricane coming literally tonight. I think I have like one of the last flights getting out of Orlando. Airport closes at four. My takeoff was at four. They moved it to 3.30. So I'm head down there. Gonna get on the plane, gotta go to LaGuardia first, then go to LaGuardia, then Dallas, a real pain in the neck, but you know, I wanted to save customers some money on some plane tickets. Um, so I get in there late tonight, uh, but let's get it going. On the first flight, I just got upgraded my seat, not like for class or Delta Comfort, but like, as I was saying, I got upgraded to the exit row, but look at all this leg room. There's not even a chair here, just my legs. Also, I went to the Sky Club for the first time. I should have showed that, but that was amazing. Six, seven, I don't know. We have four hour, four and a half hour flight ahead of us. Terrible route, but cheap. First class coming up. It is cold up here. But to Dallas we go. Cold. Finally made it to Dallas. It's a little early in the morning. I got a box of Apex right here. Time to get working. So, like I said in the last video, this wire management is terrible. The goal is it's gonna be the brain here, EV30, EV30, or 32, sorry. Uh, dosage, try an argument over here, and then clean all of this up. Okay, we got the Apex boards up, the wire tracks going in. So right now what I'm doing is going through all these wires that I put in last time, taking them all out, reorganizing. So we've got the wire track going up to each energy bar. Both energy bars are plugged in. They're gonna go into that outlet. Gotta take all that out. I still got a lot of work to do, but I think it's coming along, you know, just as I planned and pretty nice. All right, so I ran into kind of a design issue. Not issue, but just like struggling with it. So I have this shelf here with the Trident. Now I was gonna do another shelf here and then dose it all the way up here. So this was gonna be on its own shelf. But I think I'm just gonna corner the trident like this, which is like, I'm not super in love with. Let me zoom out. Like I'm not super in love with the trident, but I think it's gonna be easier for the customer to have them both here and you know easier access to fill or change out these versus having these all the way up here. Um, but we're almost there, almost there. Okay, so to get to that outlet, it's impossible to see back there. So I have to stand on the sump. So I'm gonna do it again. Yuri, if this thing breaks, it's your fault.
I'm done. I'm finally done. Um, actually, there's a wave kit coming tomorrow. It's not all the way done, but like with what I can do, I'm done. I still gotta program everything, but let me walk you through all the wiring and all that. I mean, I think that looks pretty clean. All right, so we got UV, yeah, UV pump, main pump skimmer, MP40 for the tank. Um, basically, there's some wire track there everywhere. I don't even know where to begin. I'm so tired. Um, but yeah. Okay, so let me walk you through. Everything's now programmed. Uh, Trident's up in dosing. Sorry, not dosing, testing. Doses are dosing uh, from the simplicity. Uh, we got the reactor. So we got the reactor in there. Uh, we only got one right now because the other one broke in shipping, but there is real false and carbon in there. Frag, skimmer, and then uh, just everything. I'm so happy with how this came out. Looks absolutely amazing. So this is the filter to tank one, or the sump to tank one. All right, so this is the tank that that sump is now running i only have like this big lens so it looks not as great as usual it's also white but i mean this tank look how clear the, the sand bed is it looks really nice right now then we got tank two it's a reefer 1000. Right, i got the zebra tang fox face white tip forbes um, starting at some acro colonies into here And then there's the tape on the floor. I don't know when this is going in, but I can't wait for this. So this is an eight foot by six foot uh, viewable all four sides. It's gonna be an island overflow in the center. And it's gonna be sharks, rays, you know, big angels, just an awesome, awesome. It's gonna be a thousand gallon fish only system. All right, guys, I am back home. This is new. No, oh, he's new. This is Dennis. He's a tired pup because he was playing hard all day. So he's a hound pit mix. Um, it's about six months old. I also got Kitty over here. This is Sasha. But yeah, so I'm back home with the pets. Um, shout out Colson's Critters for cleaning my glass for me. Um, but yeah, I'm back home. I am super stoked with how that install came out. Uh, I couldn't. You know, I've asked for it to come out any better. So if you liked it, comment down below what your favorite part was. Like it if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button because I got a bunch coming out, including that thousand gallon install that's coming up very soon. I'm super excited for that. And thanks for watching.